right, well, the entire 4th Infantry Brigade and its colors now home and just in time for the holidays. The final 300 soldiers returned tonight to Fort Stewart, where they were met by a huge crowd, the biggest crowd to date. We were there for the emotional homecoming. Not even the cold weather could stop a grandmother from seeing her oldest grandson. You see, after nine months, her heart is just too warm. Overjoyed, overfilled with love and memories, though Lieutenant Andrew Ross is now 24 years old, he's still grandma's baby. Even then, he was serious about honoring his flag and his country. You look at his face in that picture and it'll tell you, no monkey business. A West Point graduate deployed for nine months with the 4th Infantry Brigade. There's no time for monkey business. It's grandma's business to form the welcoming committee and welcome home meal. Turkey, ham, dressing, everything. Lots of fun, lots of love, lots of talking. While Lieutenant Ross was deployed, he was always in their hearts and on their wrists. For nine months, we've been wearing these bracelets for him. Why'd you do that? Because we love him. And we know that prayer is the end all. God will keep us safe. And he has with him. And with Monet Miska's husband. My husband means everything to me. I mean, I know we haven't known each other for only a little bit of time, but him being apart from me made us that much closer. Married less than a month before deployment. In this box, his new wedding ring. The first thing he said was that he wanted to go get a ring when he got back home, but little do he know he don't have to go and get it because I already picked it out for him. So it's right here in this box. Just waiting for him to open it and put it on. Okay. 300 families here that wouldn't trade this moment for the world or for any amount of money, the last of the fourth home for the holidays. I couldn't think of a better time to come home. It's perfect. Just in time for grandmother's love, and home cooking. It's very, very emotional today. He's, this is the first time he's been deployed. I'm sure it won't be his last, but you know, I'll be here every time I can when he comes home, no matter where he is. Here at WJCL, we want to wish all the men and women happy holidays and welcome home. Nearly 2,000 soldiers from the 4th Infantry Brigade have returned home in the last week and a half.